Hey everybody, my name is Artindi and this is not quite a devlog, it's more of me just showing off the tutorial that I have so far. It's pretty much finished, it just needs some fine tuning, a little bit of polish, but I wanted to make this video now so I could get a little bit of feedback from you guys because you're always so helpful. So here is uh, the beginning scene, I'm just going to play it, kind of narrate, talk about some of the motives I had for different things I added and uh, describe everything so that you guys can see what you think and give me some feedback. It's, you know, I appreciate it. All right, so starts, you're in here. Sheik walks in. Um, I added some screens, it's kind of nice. Machine opens up. I, I'm always really proud of this animation. <laughs> okay, she starts talking and I think I need to, I know I, know I need to work on this because um, it's the timing is always off. So I'm gonna add a button that you can push that will then cycle through the things that she's saying once you're done reading the current things she's saying. Uh, most games do this, so it makes sense for me to do this as well. I added these screens here and here and in the next room because the point of this tutorial is to show the player simply what buttons they push. Not the actual gameplay or different techniques they can use in the gameplay, but really just the controls because that's something that players might not know. Uh, we're trying to make the controls as intuitive as possible, so they might not even need these, but it's still better to make sure they know what controls to use than not. So, blinking a WD to move around, right? And then an E to interact, and in the future they should just always know this, but if not, we can always add a screen somewhere else in the game if they have to interact with something. Okay. So I added another screen here and she's just standing in the middle of the room. Once you get close enough, she'll start talking. This device will allow you to clone yourself. So let's find out if it works. However, the other thing it can do is kill you. And I don't know which button does which thing. But there are only two buttons. So a 50% chance it will make you explode. Your odds of living have never looked better. I would recommend trying the left button first though. Okay, and then the screen up here changes to indicate doing the left button to clone yourself. And we'll do that and she starts talking. Nice, good job, you're still alive. How, now there are two of you. That is so strange, but incredible it works. If you focus, you should be able to transfer your mind between clones. Try transferring your mind over. Okay, and here I had someone playing the game. They were um, kind of just play testing a little bit and they kept trying to hit shift to transfer your consciousness. And it makes sense because your pinky is resting on shift when you're on the a AWSD controls. Um, tab also makes sense because that's a common button to push when cycling through um, things on a computer. So we decided to have both of them work. So transfer and then she got stuck. Now the other button will make you die. But since there are two of you, um, see, it feels like it's too long because I'm reading it so fast. If one of you die, you will be fine, but people might have a hard time reading this font. Try the other button to self-destruct, okay, and then you can self-destruct. And I disabled all these controls, um, at least I, well, I think I still need to disable self-destruct. Now come with me. Miller wants to see you in there since the device works. I'll finish telling you, but leave a clone behind in this room because you are going to be dying a lot. Okay, so... I, I disabled the controls of the player. Lots of people don't like that, but this guy shouldn't know how to do stuff until he figures it out. And so therefore the player shouldn't be able to do it until then either. Um, I also, I might make the tutorial skippable. I know lots of people don't like to play tutorials, but at the same time, it's kind of part of the story as well. It's not super long. So let me know what you guys think, if it should be skippable. If not, then, um, you know, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Okay, and then you go through here and you end up in the hub. And the reason why I wanted a clone to be left behind, and I won't allow the player to leave the tutorial area until they leave a clone in the room, until there's at least two clones. And in that way, if you ever are in a level somewhere and you want to come back to the hub area, then the clones there will die. And the idea is you'll just pop in through this door as if you cloned yourself again in the tutorial room and came into here. Okay, and then um, 
here's Miller, here's where you come and talk to him and he'll send you on the first levels of the game. But anyway, that's the tutorial. That's what I have um, so far. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything that I should add or something that would make it even easier on the player so that they can understand any tips or hints that you might have from tutorials that you've made or if there's any really cool tutorials that you've played in games. Let me know about those too so that I can check them out, make this tutorial as good as possible because you guys always give me recommendations and I always end up changing things. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know what you think. But yeah, thank you. Have a beautiful day.